Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mommy. Back with more Infinity Wars, literally picking up right where we left off. We unlocked the new starter pack, and now they're telling us to go in here and uh, try it out. So, try out the campaign. As you play through the campaign, you can earn new cards and level up. As you level up, you can unlock new modes of play, like PvP or something like that. Have fun in the world of Infinity Wars! So that's it, huh? Straight to the campaign. Let's do this. So, let's see. What's this? Campaign 1. Um, I don't know. Mission locked. So we have to do both of these. Is this literally the first thing I had? So, there's different campaigns. Whoa! So, what are, are these like different, um... Um, different races or different clans or are these different campaigns. Anyway, we're gonna do this one. I think I finished this one Yeah, that was the one we just finished now. We want to do the flame dawn campaign 2 continuing your training Prove to Bromic that you have what it takes to be a general of the flame guard Let's go ahead and do one more and then we'll look around more. So Mr. Mommy versus Bromic now you can see this is uh, We're both the same avatars. I could probably switch this later All right, so we'll just go straight into this or what's going on? Looks like this is a set thing already. Yeah, what's going on? It looks like a set thing. This is weird. Um, what the hell do I do? Oh, this card has charge. Characters in charge and move directly to the solve. Okay, I got it. Uh, okay, thank you. What the hell? Why does it just start like this? I mean, there's no like little, it didn't give me a little cutscene or anything. It just went straight into the battle, which I guess that's fine. So I can throw these guys straight to the assault zone, right? They're in the command zone. Which, uh, I believe th there was a card that was played before that that activated these three. So I have four resources. Let's see. Knight of the Dawn Flame. So he has these guys as well. I think what we're going to do is put two here. Uh, actually, yeah, that's fine. We'll do this. In the support zone. And we'll see what happens. So, what is... Oh. What the hell? Um, anyway, it's attacking. So I attack straight his thing imaging it. Dang, they cancel each other out. These flame dot aspirants are really, really. Oh, I got another card. This is new. Burning Prejudice. Return target character in a combat zone and all other characters with the same name to their support zones. They become exhausted. So this thing, it could be used on either mine or the other teams, which is funny. I have two of these, which I don't know if I have too much use for. At the moment. Okay, so let's see. Support zone. I want you to go into the attack zone. I just want to straight out destroy him. This guy has a lot of defense. I'll keep him in the defense zone. Well, I gotta at first have him in here. This is ability. Alright. So I have no more uh, people. Let's just go. So let's see. Will he decide to move these three or two more? Okay, he got two more aspirants, which went straight into the assault. Which means they did a lot of damage, but I do more damage. Alright, let's see. So they hit four. I want someone that can tank two hits. So this guy can tank two hits. Up to, up to eight damage. But at least death two is fine. So let's go ahead and get this in support zone. So I don't know why he keeps throwing out random guys if they're not from here. It's really weird. Huh. Oh, that's right. Aspirin. Sorry, sorry, sorry. He's playing it. This guy has charge. So that's why it's going straight into the assault zone. It doesn't say anything about defensive, but that's why that thing hasn't had to go in the support zone. Okay, that makes sense. Whoa, he's throwing out like a million over there. That's really weird. Alright. Ow. So my guy could take two hits, but then he keeps attacking again. Ugh. Alright, I got stumble. Oh, of course. That's why they gave me this thing. The ability. Burning prejudice. Return target character. Okay, so if I if I use this on him, it will return him plus this this, uh, this guy as well because they're both the same name. And I think let's see, my 69 health, he has 63 health. Let's keep on attacking him. We can do it. We can probably do it. All right, let's go. So we're gonna return him to his hand. So what happens is I believe all of the units move and then abilities are played. So so there you go. If you play it in advance. Oh, if, if you like, uh, let's see, what's the word I'm looking for? If you outsmart your opponent and play this, when he has like one card and you think he's going to play more of the same ones, play it right away. Just like that, it worked out. So, I have, let's see. I have another one of these, but I think we could take one damage. So, we're going to go ahead and just keep on putting stuff in here. Oh, he's in the support zone too because, oh, that's everyone of the same name? Oh, that's, I didn't realize that. 
let's see return and commons all other characters with the same name so because i had it, it it moves me back too which makes sense pretty awesome so i have him rest and this is the same cards but i don't want to do anything we'll leave him in the attack zone and I keep going for his health wow so that's really whack so he's gonna hit me 4 8 12 16. Ugh, that's fine next turn i'll just move him back again so i got another burning prejudice and this is what i'm gonna do well this is gonna get straight to my hand again I mean, straight to my support zone. So, we want to keep attacking while activating this. So, you know, there, wa there wasn't too much tutorial cutscene for this particular mission. But it's actually giving me cards that are helpful. It makes me think like, okay, what do I need to do? And honestly, this thing is revolving around this um, pretty much AoE removal card. It's working out. So, I think, can I do this again? Like, can I use this again? No, I cannot because it's a. Um, make sure you want to target it. Oh, check this out. So you can do it in advance, but if it is not legal when the ability resolves, it will have no effect. So you, it's, it's another high risk, high reward thing. You can actually use it if you think he's going to throw some minions out. Yeah, he's definitely going to throw minions out. So I'm going to activate it. Pretty cool. But if he doesn't, I'm screwed. So he's gonna throw them all out, right? And then this activates. Boom. Now they all go back. So this is an advanced play. Man, he throw his commander, which is bad. But I will attack his defenses and all that, so he's screwed. Turn eight. I have 43 health left. So all I only need is one more attack and he's dead. We'll throw these guys over here to defend. And I will stumble this guy. So he goes back to his, uh, his hand. And I'll stumble these guys because I know for sure that they are going to be, you know, they're, they're going to come out. Alright. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're, we're perfect. So I'm using all of my things at this last moment to defend one guy attacking. It's GG. We should have this in the bag. So stumble them. So he goes back to a support zone. I stumble that. And remember, I'm doing these in advance. If I play, let's say, um, a real character and they decide not to throw one of these things out, and then, holy crap, I would have wasted a card. So, some good strategy, some pretty good, um, what's it called? Ow. I'm, I'm just mitigating all the attack that I can. So, yeah, this guy's going to take about two hits. That's perfect. And he only hit me eight. So, I'm down to, um, down to 35. But I finish him with attacking. Yeah, I finish with this. Perfect. I won. That's great. Ding, 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 ding. Brave New World completes a campaign mission. It's really awesome. Now I can go straight to the next mission, or I think we should go look around the uh, the general UI and all that stuff. What's this? Quest completes. So I got rewards. Um, this request requires new rewards. Uh, oh, rewards new cards. And this request, uh, this quest rewards an iron campaign medal. Play rewards. Loading cards. So I just got new cards, and I don't know if it's going to be random or specific to this mission. Loading cards, okay. Whoa, this is a cool card. Yobo, nobody likes that. Zero morale, three resource. This guy's strong. If Yobo would die, he leaves the game instead, and you gain 10 morale. This character seems amazing. This is... Oh, this is really cool. Great cost, no morale. It's pretty good. Welcome to the Academy. Here you will learn skills for mastering Infinity Wars. So that's the Academy. This is the campaign. Um, where was I? Back to play. So P uh, PvP locked until level 4, level 5. So we have to do a lot of these before we keep going. Let's look at the store. So where are my actual stuff here? Cards. I have Lightmare points and 100 Infinity points. So to get a booster pack, we actually need Infinity points. So let's look at this. Huh. A small pack containing three random cards. Guaranteed one is uncommon. What about this one? Collection booster pack. So this one, 15 cards, three uncommons and one rare. So let's see, infestation booster pack. Uh, specifically from the infestation set. So I really like trading card games. Which is really cool. Collection starter pack. Is this what I have already? Kickstart your collection with this. Blah, blah, blah. Uh huh. All right, that's cool. Omni. So how do I get more? How do I get Lightmare points? I believe you have to buy this. So if I click on this, it'll probably open up another. Yep, it's a dollar. It's you know a couple bucks. That's fine. 
choose payment options steam yeah yeah i'm trying to just play this without you know spending any money so 150 infinity points we get this pro you know pretty much after defeating enemies and upon like completions and leveling up i assume we get more so that was just cards these are full out decks avatars cool mysterious man seal that looks like conan i'm not gonna lie it looks like conan i don't think that they have him though so yeah this is a uh, we got about three hours left and we get for 300 infinity points this is pretty cool this is awesome. Look at that, you can actually buy him with real money. Card backs. Only with money. Only with real money. Battlefields. Only with real money. What is this though? A fully animated battlefield. So I can show off, huh? We got some pre-orders. So we gotta you can actually buy this one. 24 bucks. And this is all the inventory that I have. So not too bad. Just remember guys, this game is pretty much free to play in its early access so lots of stuff being added all the time and stuff like that so these are all of my cards I you can only have 15 cards collection 44 huh this is pretty cool let's see so can I add some new cards in 16 um you do not own the required play deck okay um let's go ahead and delete everything and then we'll, we'll, we'll make a whole new deck started like delete 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 okay here it goes let's make a new deck oh man um, I don't have too many cards so it shouldn't <laughs> it's not gonna be too difficult so I can only have about what 40 a uh, deck must have three commanders oh well how do I how do I know what, what's commander um, okay let's just start throwing cards in and we'll try I want to I really want to try this out so we only have the flame stuff so let's go ahead and throw this in here uh, what's this one two stumbles yep Exhaust and call the crusade create three four two. This costs five All right, that's pretty good. I'm just gonna throw all the cards in and then we'll see what happens Assassinate kill. Okay, this is ability Kill target character your max resource decreases by two. Whoa, this is a high risk high, re uh, high reward as well There's a lot of it like that. That's pretty awesome So you can like assassinate this guy before he even shows up on the assault. That's so cool. Remember, we're going to put all the cards in here until um, we can't have any more. Then we'll decide what we want to take out. Vicious Ransacker, sure. Torch Bear. Two Flames. Um, three Flame Dons, cool. Eleven Flame Dawn Aspirants, oh my god. Wait, can, can I put... <laughs> Sorry, I was like, oh, command. Oh, what? You can make anyone a commander? You can make anyone a commander. Flame Dawn Commanders. Oh my god, that's so cool. That is fucking amazing. You can make anyone a commander. But, you know, for, let's say, um, for this guy, you actually need at least one flame commander. So he can be commander. And now I can summon any of these. That's cool. Oh my god, I like that. I really like that. Let's add all these. So how many can I have? Oh, it shows you the curve as well. That is pretty freaking cool. Alright, aerial commando. I really want to turn him into a commando later. Uncommon. This card is soul bound to you. It cannot be tradable to other players. Pretty cool. And then this one requires actually nobody. This is really cool. Let's throw some tech knights in here. Tech knights, I think, are really strong. Um, I can, um, like I said, I could uh, stumble them if I really want him to heal. And soldier fortune, pretty cheap cards. Mortar cannons. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. Defense golem, so the defense golem could block characters of fight. So I definitely want these. Six more cards. I'll put a couple more tech knights in. Remember, we can put as many as we want. I think up to 40 cards, I believe, though. At least. Let's go. Let's just get to 40 and then see if we can put any more. 41! How many cards can we have? This is really weird. Uh. Okay, let's put another one. Um, apparently, you can have as many cards as you want. Let's make some commando. Okay, this one. Okay, my flying one, command. Um, let's see. Call the Crusade. Uh, right, Flame Dawn Footman. Actually, let's see. So, Torchbearer, Commando. And also want the Knight of the Flame Dawn to be Commando. So, that's it. Oh, a deck. Okay, a deck must be a minimum of 40. And these three aren't counted. Alright, do we have too many Commandos? I think we should stick with just two Commandos. We're fine. Because I don't want any of these guys. I don't want any Mortar Cannons. And there's no other cards. So this is it. This is, this is our deck. For now, anyway. Um, how do I save this thing? Save, save, save. Save it. Can I name it? 
can I rename? Moblins on fire. Moblins on fire. Welcome to the Moblins on fire deck. Okay, let's go play. Campaign once again. Now, I believe in the campaign, it will pretty much give us another pre-made sort of field to do, right? Okay, let's go. Mr. Mario vs. Bromic. So, I just made a deck, but I probably won't use it in this campaign unless I go fight an AI, correct? Yeah, okay, this is another pre-made thing. Pretty much one resources. Alright. Let's do this. So, these are all command. Flame Ram! What the hell? If Flame Ram directly attacks an enemy fortress, it deals... 10 damage so it does zero but if you can actually have nobody in its in its wake it does 15 damage not bad i guess it depends on what kind of deck you want to make right okay so this is pretty much a um, starting thing let's go <laughs> all right so there's 12 cards left what is this all right let's go ahead and put them here oh man this guy's charged so that's why he went straight to there okay let's go so he might have a charge too no he threw out one of his guys all right i attacked him he attacked me. That's fine. Burning Prejudice. Okay, that's everyone of the same name again. Let's see. Character human. So these guys, uh, so these are just commanders, which you could throw out at any time, as long as you have the resources, right? Well, he was a one resource. Yeah, he was a one. That's why he could throw it straight out without having it in the support zone. So I'm going to do the same. I think, you know what? I, I wouldn't mind doing a little race. Uh, actually, I'm going to move him, though, because I hit for four. And he hits for five, but I can take him out, so that's that's good. Oof, that's not bad. That's not the worst. That's not the worst. It's one for one, and we're both hitting each other for seven. And I am I'm pretty much behind, so let's do this. So he doesn't have an actual like huge command like this guy. <sighs> let's see. So I can exhaust one guy. Okay, I'm gonna exhaust one because he does a shit ton of damage. Three resources, so if I exhaust him, I won't be able to throw any more minions out for this turn. Let's see. Or okay, it's either attack or throw out a minion. Um We'll exhaust it. We'll exhaust it. And then that's it. I don't have any more resource for anything else. And he's gonna throw out two of these guys because they can charge straight out. But at least I mitigated some damage. He's still gonna do eight. Oh man, this is not good. Okay. Uh, so this is a huge balance between attacking and defending, huh? Okay, four resources. I can throw out my main guy, but he's gonna throw out, of course, this guy once again here and do a total of fucking 15 damage. So I think what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna have him block two attacks. He he might throw him in the assault zone, but we'll have this guy ready to go to do 10 damage. I'm gonna throw my commander. Let's go. Oh, that's right. He threw this out. Oh no! I forgot he had that. I should have checked out how much resources it had. So, yeah, he's, he has a straight straight shot at me, doing 15 damage. Ouch. I did 10 damage, but this thing's gonna hurt. Oh, man. Okay, so what I can do is I'm gonna exhaust it once again. Do I have another exhaust? I do. Alright, we'll exhaust it. Oh, man. And then that will give me two left, which I can go ahead and start setting up for another character. Or I can throw this guy. Okay, I think we're gonna... Oops, what's this? Character's charge. So, we're gonna go ahead and charge. Charge this guy. He has plus two attack because of this guy. And then we'll also throw one of my other commanders. So, we're gonna do a huge offense as well as um, getting rid of him. But he still has this guy ready to go. So, let's go. Oh, he just... Oh, man. Okay, so I exhausted the flame ram. He won't do any damage. And that's it. We're doing 23 overall damage. We are on the, we are on the huge offensive. But here's the deal. He has this guy ready to go. He can just throw him out anywhere he wants. Usually, probably attack zone, because that's where he gets his benefit from. So we can throw everybody out this turn. He has 49 to my 65. <sighs> okay. So here's the deal. Do I want to try to defend? I can't really defend unless I throw these guys here. Or I can go on a full-on assault. If I put these guys, if I put these, if I put these three four twos in the assault zone, it will get plus two. So it's gonna be three six six twos. I think this is really worth it. Let's go ahead and do it. So this is going to be a huge, huge risk. Oh man, another one? Another attack? How many cards can we have in that zone? So I'm gonna go ahead and play my magic card, my Billy, to summon these three these three six sixes. Six twos. Boom. 
I have no idea how many cards we could have there. But anyway, I did 20 overall damage. Oh, and he did 20. I did 47. <laughs> All right. I think I don't think he can hit I don't think he can kill me this turn so that's what we're gonna do we have seven we're gonna go ahead and use this to get rid of all of his little minions it'll get rid of three mine but that's totally fine we need just any damage overall and then we'll have this here just in case but I'm pretty sure we won this yeah so we're gonna burning prejudice all of the cards of the same name and then we attack him and it's over yeah brother all right I don't know about you guys, but I'm really enjoying Infinity Wars. This is a great game. So we leveled up, and what do we get? You go to the profile screen and the main menu to claim your rewards. So we got 75 IP for you know beating it, and now we have 225 total. This is really cool. So it returns in the main menu, and let's see. It said we have to go here to get our rewards for leveling up. Daily, oops, what's this? Bing, 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 bing. Crest reward. I got randomized something. I can't see because it's in the way. Oh, this is what I got? Is this what I got? One of many. Warpath Commander. What the hell is this? Playing rewards. Uh, daily. Oh, God. Get out of the way. Okay. Looks like I just got some new cards. A lot of new cards. This is um, Dragon Commander. Um, Genesis Industries. Give him a jetpack. Target character gains flying. All right. So this is a lots of random stuff, right? Oh, is this mine? No, this is Exiles. So there's lots of different um, types of stuff, as, as well as lots of uh, uh, commons and purity ones. I want to keep working on the Flame Commanders, I guess. Whoa, whoa, that's horrible. Ooh, Jesus Christ. So there is a lot of stuff you can do. This game is really insane. I like this at all. Look, uh, this is a purity one. So if I put, if I, if I decide to put this on my card. It does this. If you do not control location card, search your deck for one and put it into your hand. If you control location card, draw two cards. It's not a bad card. Not a bad card. Oh, this is a new one for uh, my um, for my guy. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized. You could have three different commanders, right? So I can throw him on the field as long as I have one cult of commander in my deck. So you can actually mix and match. You don't have to make a deck just of pure, you know, what's this? Uh, cult of Evor or anything like that. So, wow. Lots of cool stuff. This is amazing. Lots of mix and matches. I cannot wait to keep throwing out more cards and doing this. So let's see what this guy does. One resource cost. When Herald of Dawn comes into play, the first character you play next turn will gain charge. That is amazing. That's amazing. But it doesn't say. Like, does he have to stay alive? Probably, right? And then we got the Jungle Giants. As well as this freaking... Is this a legendary? Epic! I found an epic! Flying Unstoppable Dragon, but you need two Warpath Commanders. Wow, that's fucking amazing. One of many. So here it is. I, this is the daily win card. You a random reward for completing the first three. Make sure you play again tomorrow for more for your rewards. Sure, no problem. Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm really like nerding all over this, right? But like I said, this game is fun. I can't wait to play more tomorrow. More episodes. So for, I'm going to end it. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like. It helps so much. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I upload a lot of daily videos. More Infinity Wars along the way. Once again, please, please, please tell me your opinions on the game. Have you guys picked it up and tried it yourself? Or you don't mind watching me, you know, play more? So that's it. Thanks. This game's great. I'll see you guys next time.